What is RCT, Randomized Control Trial, and how to plan a randomized control trial? Greetings from GCRI, Gujarat Cancer Research Institute, Ahmedabad. The learning objectives of today's presentation are to know about RCT and how to perform a proper RCT. We go back into history. In 1747, James Lind was a person who did first clinical trial on scurvy and he allocated 12 patients of scurvy and treated them with medical management. A well-known reported study is in 1948 on use of streptomycin treatment for pulmonary tuberculosis. So in 2023 can we publish a RCT on this topic? Yes, use of Vivin, the movie of Bollywood star for patients with bone cancer during their chemotherapy treatment and what were their self-reported quality of life assessment questionnaires. Can we perform this type of RCT? Yes, it can be performed. Role of viewing sports movies during rehabilitation in patients with ACL tear and what were their rehabilitation outcomes. What is RCT? Randomized controlled trial is a study where you divide patients into two groups. First group is proposed new treatment or experimental group. Second is existing standard of care control group or it can be a placebo group. Medical RCTs are bit easy as compared to surgical RCTs. In medical RCTs you can compare two drugs, two vaccines that is a bit uh, easier method but in surgical field it's difficult to plan a randomized controlled trial. McCullough and his colleagues divided surgical RCTs into three types. In type 1 you compare medical management in surgery. Type 2 you compare surgical treatment methods to surgical techniques and type 3 trials you compare surgical method and non-surgical treatment method. First example type 1 trials in medical management in surgery you compare use of tranexamic acid versus placebo in patients with knee replacement and its effect on blood loss. Type 2 where you compare two surgical techniques robotic knee replacement method versus conventional knee replacement and its effect on functional outcomes. Type 3 where you compare surgical versus non-surgical method use of knee brace versus knee replacement surgery in osteoarthritis. These are the advantages and disadvantages of randomized control trial. These can be expensive, there can be volunteer bias and there can be laws to follow up. According to the publication methods, this is one of the best evidence which is possible in medical fields. So you divide the patients into two groups. One is interventional group, second is control group. Analyze the outcomes at follow up and analysis is performed with various statistical methods. First important step is randomization which is performed with an easy method that is titled as snooze. Means you can divide the patients into two groups. One is odd even number so that can be a good method sequentially numbered. Second when we use of opaque seal envelope where the investigator doesn't know in which group the patient is divided. Use of computers and mobiles can be done for randomization. How to implement uh, RCT? Enroll the participants, assess eligibility, discuss the trial, get a very proper consent, divide the patients into two groups and how to perform a good RCT? You can use quality control methods. Important method is to report serious adverse events to the investigator. Are there bias in any study? Yes, there can be bias in randomized control trials. How to minimize it? You can divide the patients into three categories. One is single blind where the patient doesn't know in which group he is. Double blind means the patient and the investigator doesn't know in which group the patient is alerted. Third, triple blind where the administered person doesn't know where the patient is assigned. How to report? the outcomes of a randomized control trial. So consort method is used for reporting these type of studies. 
how to register a RCT you can use these two platforms in India you have a clinical trial registry and there is an international clinical trial registry platform so we go to an example of a RCT where the authors had used viewing Disney movies during chemotherapy on self-reported quality of life in patients with gynecological cancer the study duration was one year females were enrolled given six cycles of chemotherapy they were shown Disney movies before and after the chemotherapy so 56 patients were used in this study 28 were in the Disney movie group and 28 were in the non movie group the patient had in both groups similar demographic data and other methods what were used patients were analyzed for emotional functioning social functioning and global health status was assessed and this is how the data was published so take home messages how to perform a RCT you divide the patients into two groups one is experimental group second is control group and the data is analyzed thank you very much